I will sell to thee. And all we got to do, Lord, is let go and let God. Yes, today, Lord. Never pray and ask the special blessing upon each and every one under the sound of my voice. We pray and ask a special blessing for our pastor this morning that you lift him up. Then he, after he preach at this spot, then he needs traveling grace to go to Wichita Falls and then stand there. Lord, he's going to need some strength. And he's not only going to need strength, he's going to need your power, Lord, in order to endure. We just thank you today and we lift up the name of Jesus. Expeditiously, let me call your attention to Colossians. 2, 6, and 7. 2, 6, and 7. <coughs> As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith. As ye have been taught, abound therewith with thanksgiving. I want to talk to you this morning about the qualifications of a witness. In this church, I have pleaded, I have begged, I've almost passed out and trying to convey to you about the Great Commission. The Great Commission, I talk about how if you want to carry out the Great Commission, that first of all, you must be compassionate and when you are genuinely compassionate, it will make you be concerned. Help me, Lord Jesus. And when you are concerned, you will make contact with me. Well, now watch this. If you are going to genuinely work, you're going to have to be qualified. Help me, Lord Jesus. Now, I had to bring that back up to speed, which is because we're going to talk about the qualifications of a witness. Well, uh, preacher, I want to be a witness, but now how do I go about being qualified to be a witness? Well, first of all, you must be saved and you must know it. And I'm not going to ask for the hands of everybody that know that they're saved and that they're going to heaven today, because I'm sure uh, not many of us are sure about that. I don't know about you, but I am. But anyway, if I don't go to hell, I can sure tell you, wherever Jesus is, that's where I'm going to be. Because I believe the word of Jesus, I love Jesus, and I'm following Jesus. So wherever Jesus is, I'm going to be all right being wherever Jesus is. Because I have committed myself to following him. Well, you got to be saved and you know it. And then when you're saved and you know it, you've got to know that God says I am saved because he tells me in his word. And I got to let you know that God cannot lie. Amen. Yeah, if God said you saved, you saved. I'm glad about that today. Then what's the proof? We have the witness of the Spirit of God with us. I'm glad about that. I'm glad I don't have to go do God's work by myself. I'm going to do God's work. God with me. It's his work. All you got to do is make yourself available and God will use you. Right, right, right. Yeah, but so many times we won't go do God's work our way. Do it in my, my thing. And that's not the way it is. Right, right. Then we have the witness of saving faith yeah. in us. And you know your witness of saving faith was when you got up off of that seat and you made it down from here and said, I accept Jesus as my personal Savior. I'm glad about that today. Yeah, yeah. Then, what makes us qualified and we show good qualities and being a good witness is that we are separated unto the Word of God. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't go out in our own name. We go out in the name of Jesus. The Word of God. That's what Jesus is. Jesus is the Word of God. And when you go forth and you share the word of God with people and not go and share your business and share your neighbor's business, Lord have mercy. <laughs> you can see some things being done. Man, I got to tell you, now so many times we make the mistake of wanting to see some results. Oh. Mm. The results is not yours. Oh. It belongs to God. Yeah, yeah. You witness and move around. Because I'll tell you this because it's so easy. 
is to the witness and then kill what you witness. Yeah. Get them, Lord Jesus. Right. Yeah, if you stay around too long, uh, somebody might pull out a wine and the next thing you know, you be out of cash, me that wine. You don't stay around too long. See? Witness and move around. Don't worry about the results. Because one plant, one water, and God gives the increase. Thank you, Lord. Oh, preacher, now I ain't worried about the time either. We are separated. Well, when you are separated unto the word of God, your desires change. That's right. That's it. That's right. Yeah, you might have to decide to right. go to the club last week. But when Jesus comes into your life, yeah. your desire change, you start heading your way toward the church house. That's it. Right. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, I'm a club door boy, and I'll tell you. I had my sunglasses on. It was night now. You know, with my sunglasses on at night. And I'm standing there being cool. And I'm trying to see who the coolest one is. But I woke up and I wasn't sleeping. I figured out who the coolest one at the club was. The man that owned the club. Because on Monday morning, he go to the bank. I had to go to work. <laughs> Going to the bank is supposed to cool with me. Yeah. Then we should have a sincere desire for spiritual gifts. God's not going to let you go out and work if He don't bless you to be able to work in a certain area. That's it. You got a gift. That's right. You got to find out what your gift is. That's it. And then use your gift. That's it. Don't worry about the next man's gift. Yeah. If your gift is giving out a cool glass of water, bring a fan with you. Yeah. There's water and some air. Whatever your job is, do your job. That's it. Then you Amen. Will be right. Amen. And then watch this. We have a holy purpose to bear fruit. Yeah. Well, I didn't say fruits. I said fruit. Fruit of the Spirit. Goodness. Long self. Temperance. Many, many more. And I said just a few so you can get your Bible and look at look up the rest of them. Yeah. Then we have a holy obligation to pay a spiritual debt. That's what I said. Yeah. I owe a debt that I could not pay. Jesus paid for a debt that he did not owe. All right. He paid the debt for me. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad about it today. All right. I truly say, yes, I'm saved. And I know it. Yeah. I'm separated unto the word of God. Oh, I'm coming on with this here. And one thing about being a witness is you need to know who you are witnessing about. So many of us know about God, but we don't know God. Yeah, he, you know, I, I'm the crazy going to Dr. Cobb's house to introduce you to him, and I don't know him. Well, first of all, he's going to ask me what you're doing here. He ain't worried about who I brought with him. He won't know why we're here. I don't know you. That's it. We ought to know who we're witnessing about. That's right. And watch this. He's easy to get to know. Yeah. My word said, all you got to do is call on him. That's it. Well, I'm coming on now. Let me, let me knock out my little three points. <laughs> One of the things that holds us back as witnesses we don't have no conviction. Hmm. Yeah. No conviction Motista. will hinder your witness. See, God uh, will open up an opportunity for you to witness, but you won't witness because you've got no conviction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm saying something then. You see, before Jesus was crucified, the disciple men were ordinary men. But after he was crucified, Dead, buried, and resurrected, oh, these boys had a change. Yes, right. And they changed because they were convicted yeah. by the resurrection. Yeah. yeah. Help me, Lord Jesus. Yeah, all right. Boy, if y'all ain't enjoying this, I'll show you. <laughs> Help me, Lord Jesus. They were weak and they were afraid to witness. But after the resurrection, these boys were bold and they didn't care if they would cut their head off in the street. Because they were witness for the Lord. Yeah. Are you a witness today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you about when you get convicted, something happening. This thing 
can happen. Some of us don't like it. When you are convicted, you will change. Mm. And some of us don't want to change. But I'll tell you that the message of Jesus Christ is a life-changing message. All right. One day right. I can show stand and say today that I've been changed. All right. I'm not the same little fella I used to be. I used to be a rascal. Yeah. Ain't no rascal no more. I'm a witness for the Lord now. All right. I'm glad about that to be. All right. Yeah. And when you change, yeah, that's a good thing. it's not always noticed on the outside. But it's manifest on the inside. That's it. That's yeah. it. Somebody said, well, well, when I look at my hands, they look different. When I look at my feet, they look different. I look at mine, they look the same. But I tell you what, these hands will pick you up instead of slapping you. All right. Because of the change. Please read. You couldn't beat me. Running in the club. Now don't get in my way coming to the church. All right. All right. Because of a change. All right. Well, come on down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably missed you a while ago, but I'm going to get you now. Right. Mm. I didn't come to get you, but I'm not trying to miss you either. All right. All right. All right <laughs> when you are convicted, then you change. One thing like it. It's your commitment. That's it. You got to be committed to the Lord Jesus. That's it. You got to be committed to the work. That's right. In order to do the work of the Lord. That's right. Yeah, see, we we want to do things without a commitment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to be committed (laughs) in this business. That's right. Yeah, you got to be committed. And I'm going to mess with you right here on on this commitment thing because I I went on through my point pretty quick so I can get to this commitment. You know, one thing I got a problem with Part-time Christian. Mm. And the thing that gets me about part-time Christian is part-time Christian want to receive full-time benefits. Come on, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Say that. That's it. The thing that gets me about part-time Christian is going to serve a full-time God on a part-time basis. Yeah. Watch this. See, you can't go to rap. For the city of Dallas on a part time basis and get full time benefits. That's right. If you work part time, you ought not look for no 40 hours vacation. Yeah. You ought not uh, look for uh, a 401k. Now, working part time, you ain't getting no one on one. But what you earn. And it's about your commitment. But I tell you, if you want to receive. Full time benefits, you got to make a total commitment. And that's what God not expects from us, but He requires. See, so many people think God expects you to do this, God expects you to do this, God don't expect you to do nothing. God got to require it. When you are required to pray, then you ought not get caught not praying. When you are required to witness, you ought not get caught 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 sitting out there on the riverbank trying to get to that mission. But you ought to be a fisher of men. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. I'm coming on and I'm still talking about this commitment. Yes, sir. You need to let the Lord convict you. When you say, Lord, here I am. Send me. You send yourself up for some conviction. That's right, you show me. And once you get convicted, your change is coming. That's it. And you got to be able to tell people, God is not through with me yet. All right. Oh, but I will wait till my change comes. Well, I'm glad about it today. Well, Jesus, he, he made it possible because he set the perfect example. He came and he showed the dying world that there was reality and serving the true and living God. And in his works, he was always committed. Let me show you how he was committed. See, Jesus always went somewhere to pray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Watch this. He didn't need no crowd with him patting him on the back telling him how good he was praying. Right. Help me, Lord Jesus. Yeah, yeah. See, but he prayed to God. And one thing about that, you ought to be able to thank God for some me time with God. Yeah. 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 You ain't got to some me time with God. Boy, you in bad shape as a witness. Mm. And I'm telling you, when you go witness, you go 
going to get tore up because of somebody that's waiting on you to come on in with us. They're telling you, come on, I doubt you to witness. But if you are prayed up, Jesus is with you. Well, I said Jesus made it possible because he went to your God's healing. And there, they crucified him. They nailed his hand and they drove spikes through his feet. They lifted him up high, dropped him low. Yeah. And they stretched him away. Yes, sir. And these words come to me where Jesus was on the cross before he died. He said, Father, I commend my spirit into your hands. Well, let's stop and look at that word commend. When he said, I commend, he said, I'm talking about my commitment. He said, I commit my spirit into your hand because I know that you're able to receive me. All right. You ought to know that God is able to receive you. Yeah. So go ahead and work while you can so that you can go to the Bible yeah. at the end of your work. Yeah. Jesus said, I finished the work that you gave me to do. Right. Then he said, into thy hand, I commend my spirit. Mm. And the word said, he laid his head in the locks of his shoulder. Mm. And he died for a cruel and a mean world. He died yes, for you. He did. died for me. Yes, he did. Die. And after he died, where it said a Roman soldier came by and pierced him in the side and out came forth blood and water. Yeah. Heaven over Jesus. Yeah. Wow! For purification. Blood for atonement. Yeah. And then the songwriter was able to see something we couldn't see and then he looked into what had happened and he penned the song and said, there is a penalty yeah. that's filled with blood. Yeah. True! Mm -hmm. From Emmanuel's for yeah. Then his invitation says, Sin blood beneath the blood and lose your guilt to stand. Yeah. 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 He made it possible. Yeah. He gave his life for you and he gave his life for me. All right. Yeah. But that's not the end of the story. Right. He said, yeah. Lay his head in the locks of his shoulder. Yeah. And he died for us. Yes, sir. They took him and wrapped him in great clothing. Mm -hmm. Put him in a borrowed tomb. Uh, yeah. Put him in a borrowed tomb because he wasn't going to stay there long. Stay uh -huh. right. Saved there all day Friday. Yeah. All day Saturday. Yeah. Friday! Yeah. Sunday morning. to be good and effective witnesses. Yeah. If you don't get nothing else, you ought to get there. All right. And he gives us the power to overcome the wicked one. I know the wicked one is on your back. He followed you to church this morning. He showed up, opened the door for you, then got in the seat before you did. But he gave us the power to overcome it. I do not let nothing separate me from the love of God. All right. And watch this. I'm convicted by his death, his burden, and his resurrection. Mm -hmm. And I've changed because of my conviction. Now, I'm committed. How about you? God bless you. May keep you. All right.